what's up guys so i'm back with another gameplay video of walking dead looking at those pictures the guy in the picture seems look like him so we are back with that same old drugged house where we were previously at no i'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cars let's get moving we just need to get back to fort lauderdale we'll do our damn what to the fuck the man world. those newspapers are really blurry what do you think that he saw in that newspaper? Ha, huh, I guess nothing. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katya. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee... I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yeah, I think he's got a point. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know? I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I wonder sometimes, how does it feel like when someone gets killed by our mistakes I mean hell it's tragic just live it just not think about it we have a lot of things to do so we just broke one rule now by letting us inside which place was just made for authorized employees definitely who are alive. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Does he belong here? Okay, now let's just find out. This door leads to the back alley. Let's just search for this room, what we got here. What? His dad's? That means I was right about those photographs. That means this shop also belongs to him, I guess. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Family? 
Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. She's got a real strong strength back there. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Here we got bandages. That seems pretty fast. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay, well it's not broken. Dude, just apply her finger bandages first. Rest thing we can do later too. Yeah, this guy finally got some nerve. I thought she's going to be in pain until I find out some sort of stuff. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? are on that zombie out on the street. How does he get that? That there is a zombie on the street. It's the remote to my dad's TV. So here we got a TV remote. Let's just watch something. That's what I figured. It's not working too. And what we got here, a broken photo frame with a photograph. Wow, it's Lee's family photograph back there. Sad moment when it's just remain one photograph to hold all feelings. Find anything? professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. 
thanks. Don't worry about it. Whenever she comes, just different type of feeling comes in my mind. Really, she catches my attention. I don't know why. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Lynn. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Sure. I guess. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't be. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motorhead. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. So now we have to go to the place called Motor Inn with that beautiful one. You're a pretty good shot. So that's all for today guys, see you guys in my next video, till then take care and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if any improvements needed, comment it down below. Till then stay tuned, be safe. Spank you Greenwall! Spank you very much. I'm a big dog baby, I'm a buck back, buck back, badass bitch with her own racks, they don't like it, they don't like it, tell him fuck that, fuck that, cut strong, get your contact.